Welcome to part four of Add to the Story. So last week, Brendan was reminiscing about places that he's been in the past. And this week, Sharon is thinking about people that she would like to take with her on a cruise. But pretty soon my reverie was interrupted by another thought. The trip was for four people. Who shall I take? Four people. It sounds a lot to take on holiday, doesn't it? But how do I choose four people to take with me? I know so many. Should I be charitable and invite those who are in real need of a break, but will be so glum and lifeless they'll be a bore to be with and will complain constantly? Or maybe I should take those fun friends who make life so vibrant and exciting, but boy, their constant chatter and non-stop excitement could be, well, just exhausting. And this is a cruise after all, and I would like to relax at least a little. Decisions, decisions. One thing I do know for sure is I'm going. I'm not going to pass up a free, all expenses paid, swanky holiday for anyone. That would be just crazy. Ooh, and what clothes should I take? A comfortable, roomy, elasticated wardrobe for daytime so I can relax and eat as much of the constant, delicious dishes on offer. But then I can't eat too much as I'll need elaborate form-fitting cocktail wear with sparkly heels for the evening in case I'm invited to sit on the captain's table. Decisions, decisions. I wonder who I might meet on my trip and what exotic places we'll visit. Perhaps I'll be swept off my feet by a handsome multi-millionaire young man and will live on his own private island in the Caribbean, drinking sex on the beach. I said drinking. Dreams, dreams. Or maybe I'll hear a familiar Yorkshire accent. Bayek, I didn't know you were on this ship too, it'll say. I'll turn around and it'll be none other than the cruise line songstress herself, Jane MacDonald. Maybe she'll interview me on her cruising TV show. Maybe she'll ask me to duet with her. Maybe I could be a star too. Maybe, just maybe, this could be the start of something new.